Hey everybody, this is Taz. I'm going to take a look at working, uh, collaborating with someone else across the intranets using, uh, in my case, uh, my iOS device. You know, this is an iPad Mini 2 and a Behringer iStudio interface, which is where I'm recording my microphone and an external keyboard. And we've got Cubasis. And in bright red here for me, it, as a warning sign, this is a uh, file I imported that Doug had set up in his Dropbox. I can't feel my brain. Okay, that's an appropriate name for this track. We're going to hear some of that in just a second. But I want to show you what I'm doing here. Because so I'm using AUM, which is a very cool app and, you know, had a lot of, a lot of press and a lot of good stuff. But I wanted to show you the setup here. Uh, this is the microphone input from the Behringer iStudio. I've got a phantom powered mic and it's powered. It's lit up right there. Is uh, okay. R2D2 is definitely by my side. I've got an internal or uh, external <laughs> external keyboard. I was just playing a playing a bit of a piano sound. I'm gonna change that up. <laughs> All right, so that's set up, and that's uh, going into bus A. Bus A is routed to another channel, so I can have the music separate from my narrated voice stuff. So I normally work in Cubasis because uh, it works here. I don't have too many troubles. It's got the MIDI that I need. Doug has sent a file that's very strange. <laughs> We're going to hear some of it. What I've done is I add my own MIDI tracks at different spots of this. Uh, and these are just the uh, in using Cubasis internal instruments on these tracks. Uh, here's an example, though, of a MIDI track. And what I did is I used Interapp Audio and had recorded uh, uh, sound from Korg Module. It's pretty simple experimental music, being that we're not worried about key, we're not worried about bpm the the time signatures or anything you can it's it's it is whatever it is they're all very very different this one in particular is very strange so let's hear some <laughs> Okay, one may ask, what the heck do you do with that? If you have the mind to it, I guess, uh, I've done several of these uh, with stuff that Doug has sent. And uh, in this case, uh very low bass tone. Okay. Just to give you an idea, you just I just uh, found some sounds. but laugh a little bit because it's so strange that I'm presenting this to the public. I'll isolate my sound. And this is called uh, Dirty Rock, right out of uh, it's a Cubasis instrument. <laughs> Inspiring my R2-D2. You can tell he's very, very old. I should clean him or not. And I just found some things that I thought sounded pretty good. Let's skip ahead a little bit, and I'm going to keep 
those silent. I don't want you to hear that part. But uh, like I said, I recorded some Korg module from my MIDI track. That's a clavy sound. Like I said, this is intended to be uh, just a demo of how you can do something like this. So I'm not going to do the whole track. And yes, it's not for everyone, of course. Why else would I be chosen to work with Doug Woods? Because who else would do this except for me? I'm crazy enough to do this. Anyway, it is <laughs> some crazy fun. It's not necessarily that easy, but uh, neither is any other kind of collaboration, I think. Um, anyway, it's nice to work in Cubasis because, uh, as you can see, it works as input, output. You know, I could do interamp audio with it. It's being recorded through AUM. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Anyway, guys uh, and gals and whoever's Martians. Uh, yeah, we do have a song about Martians, too. Uh, check it out. You know, when you collab with somebody, you're probably going to need uh, a little more information than I got. And, uh, you know, the key you're working in or where key changes occur and make it a little easier to work with. And But here, we don't have those restrictions. So, anyway, uh, we're going to produce a whole album of this crazy stuff. And Doug's going to tell you more about that later. Thanks for tuning in. This is Taz. Be seeing you.